Raila Amolo Odinga. Vile unawaona hapa. Hawa watu bora uko na baba hawana kesi na wewe, ndio? Mimi mwenyewe mheshimiwa Kalonzo tulikuja hapa na baba. Baba akaambia watu wa Kenyatta Market wekeni huyu kijana kama senator. Walinipatia kura mia kwa mia hawa. Sasa hawa mheshimiwa Steve hakuna maneno mengine. Hawa wanangoja tu baba akisema left tunaenda wapi? Left. Akisema right tunaenda wapi? Right. Na wamekuelezea wenyewe. Baba yako ni baba yako. Akue Australia, akue Canada, akue hadi sababa baba ni nani? Baba. Si ndio? Nataka niwaambie kama katibu mkuu wa chama cha ODM, hakuna mahali baba ameenda. Kwani ni mara ya kwanza baba kwenda safari? Na hawa hawa baba wameniambia wame niambie baba hata baba akienda wapi wao watamchungia boma wakirudi wana a baba akirudi atapata mambo vile aliwacha si wangapi wanasema hiyo ndio mambo yetu hapa Nairobi sasa nyinyi mlinituma ni kuwe seneta wenu mheshimiwa Kalonzo hapa tukiwa Kibra kuna mambo ambayo ningependa niseme kitu ya kwanza kwa sababu mlisema ni kuwe seneta wenu kuna hospitali yetu hapa ya Mbagadi mheshimiwa Kalonzo hii hospitali imekwama kuna mradi ya kujenga outpatient department hapo imekwama kwa sababu contractor hana shilingi milioni 15 peke yake na governor wangu sakaja anachukua shilingi milioni 20 anaweka billboard Kenya mzima na Nairobi mzima ati anataka wamama wakienda nyumbani wamuone kwa sura sura yake ha, wana, anasema wamama wanapenda kuona sura yake sana sasa nikajiuliza mheshimiwa Kalonzo Jameni kwa sababu hata wakati tunapigania pesa ya hawa na inchi kutoka kwa senate hiyo pesa lazima itumike vizuri si ndio wewe fikiria kalonzo tuko na x-ray machine pale mutuini hospital hao watu wako karibu na imba gazi watu wanatoka mutuini huko kukuja kufanya x-ray hapa kwa sababu at x-ray room ya mutuini haina mlango haina mlango mlango nikauliza hii mlango ni pesa ngapi at shilingi 700 1700 Billboard mbili ya sakaja inaweza weka mlango kwa hiyo X-ray. Lakini yeye anataka tuone sura yake tukienda nyumbani. Anasema iko sawa. Sasa mheshimiwa Kalonzo, tuko na shida kubwa. Namba tu, iko mradi ya ujenzi hapa Woodley. Si mnajua? Tulikuwa na viongozi wa Woodley jana majuzi wa ofisi yangu. All the council estates zile ziko targeted ya redevelopment Kalonzo wanasema county government imekataa kuwasikiliza. Hawataki kufanya public participation waulize watu wa Woodley hehe mnabomoa nyumba zetu mtatupatia gani mnajenga nyumba sales gani na soko itakuwa wapi hiyo maswali watu wa Woodley paka leo hawajapata majibu kwa hivyo mimi kama seneta wangu si ati tunapigana na governor lakini lazima afanye nini kazi mnasema ashukishe billboard aweke mlango mtuini wangapi wanasema tushukishe billboard tuweke mlango mtuini asante <laughs> sana jambo la mwisho kwa kalonzo sisi tunataka tuwaambie nyinyi viongozi wetu ndani ya azimio muungane msimame pamoja kwa sababu wacha ni kuambie Kenya mzima watu wanawaangalia na kuwategemea nyinyi hii kazi ambayo tulijiingiza ndani hii shida tulijiingiza ndani ya Kenya kwisha hii wananchi wanangoja tu siku ile watapata fursa kupeleka zakayo nyumbani sasa nyinyi kama viongozi wetu tafadhali shetani aziingilie katikati muweze kuachana nataka mtembee pamoja na baba Raila Amolo Odinga mubaki pamoja 2027 ile kitu mtamtuambia kama viongozi wenu kwa sababu ile kitu watu wanataka ni zakayo ashuke uongo ishuke gharama ya maisha ishuke ushuru ishuke si ndio kwa hivyo hawa viongozi hawa wananchi eh, mheshimiwa Kalonzo wamengoja tu wananoa tu makali siku ile watasema kata miti zakayo aanguke Utaona watu wa Kenya Market kwa mstari wa mbele wakishukisha zakayo. Wangapi wanasema ha, viongozi wetu wasalie pamoja? Asanteni sana. Sasa wacha nichukue fursa hii kwa heshima kubwa. Najua utapeana salamu za baba we mwenyewe. Nimkaribishe kiongozi wetu wa azimio, kiongozi wa waipa, mtembezi mule, ule mtetezi wa baba, ule ameshikilia baba hii miaka yote, Mheshimiwa Kalonzo Musyoka aweze kuzungumza. Hoye. Kina mama hoye. Ile billboard ni safi sana. Ah. 
Mheshimiwa Senator Tasifuna Asante, Chairman wa Soko. Asante sana kwa makaribisho yako pamoja na members wako wote. Tumetembea nikaona saloon kweli hapa ni nyingi. Lakini si kuonyesha ile ya massage room. <laughs> hiyo mlipicha hiyo. Mliona watu wamechoka sana wanaweza kukata kona. Kwa hivyo ni kuonyesha nyinyi ni wajenga ushuru. Muna thibiti ushuru ambao au walioko mamlakani kila kuchao kazi yao ni kuharibu na kudhulumu na kuhujumu uchumi wetu. Nyinyi mko mstari wa mbele tumekula tumeona kweli hapa ni mahali pazuri. Na ni vizuri pia tuwe tunashukuru viongozi ambao walijaribu. Mimi niliona Uhuru Kenyatta amekuja hapa mara nyingi, si kweli? Na kwa sababu alikuwa kwa mamlaka akajaribu pia akajaribu pia kutengeneza tengeneza. Si kuja tu kula nyama peke yake. Nimeangalia miundo msingi infrastructure yenyewe, nikaona mfereji inapita mahali, ni mahali pasafi. Watu wakaanjua hawezi kuja kusema funga hii saloon. Ni smart. Ile mahali chama anamenelezea ni bowl pia mko na bowl ya maji yenu. Na tumesikia senator what they need is power search itengenezwe. Yaani wakati wanaendelea na kinyozi alafu stima inapotea customer anatoka hapa amekasirika ama pengine anatoka amenyolewa nusu hiyo power side tuangalie in these days of clean energy senator tujaribu njia ya kuhakikisha tunasaidiana na chairman na timu yake ya wawekezaji these are investors in this economy kwa hivyo mjipigie makofi yale mengine ni kuleta tu salamu za baba. Mnazipokea? Yeah. Eh, kwanza atarudi I think this Friday. Akirudi anaelekea wajia. Yule ni mtu anaenda hiyo ama ni mtu wa nyumbani? <laughs> <laughs> yaani akija aendi atadisa baba. Akirudi anaenda wajia. Nikitoka hapo zia naenda Homa Bay. Huyo ni mtu wa kusema ameenda. Hata akienda hapa Addis ni nyumbani. Na yeye atapata kazi ngumu na tena kazi kubwa. Tumshangilie na tumuombea apate hiyo kazi. Wangapi anamwombea baba apate hiyo kazi? Na sisi kutokana na network yetu kidogo tutasaidia ilivyo. Ni maraisi hivi badala ya kuwa eh, rais mmoja hapa, marais 40, sorry 50 na 1. Ndiye atakuwa anafanya kazi nao dare ako na uzoevu amekuwa champion wa infrastructure he was the african high representative yani yule mtu ako juu sana kwa mambo ya viundo ya msingi infrastructure kwa hivyo yeye ni kama kuendelea na kazi na kwa sababu mimi naona watu wakiongea juu ya ifikapo 2027 ifikapo hiyo 2027 jambeni iko mbali sana nyinyi mnaanzia kama mimi There are things that must be done hata kabla ya kufikiria 2027. Kwa mfano, Sufuna huyu na wambua yake walijaribu national dialogue. Sufuna akaniambia alienda akakuta hiyo bei ya unga inaharibika na mbolui hawezi kuenda mahali hakuna unga na kula akawacha hiyo maneno. Sasa tukachukulia mahali walikuwa. Tukasukuma na tukakubaliana na sasa report iko kwa bunge ambayo itajadiliwa wiki ijayo. Nadhani kuanzia leo ni Jumapili, Jumaine. Watu wetu wa chonjo na hata wale wa Kenya kwanza leo nitawasamea sitaweta Kenya kuisha. Sasa nataka wapitishe hiyo mswada. Wakipitisha basi baba na rai, na uhuru, na sorry na Ruto within 21 days watatengeneza team kila mtu awe na timu yake ya auditors ya kupekua pekua na mambo gani yalifanyika 2022 kwa hivyo acheni kuongea 2027 first of all you want to bring closure yani tu, tukamilishe mazungumzo juu ya vipi mambo yalienda vibaya kuna mambo mengi ambayo yalienda vibaya na hiyo mambo bila kurekebisha hayo hakuna maana kuongea juu ya 2027 lazima kwa kwa sakata taendelea tu na kujaribu yale yale. Kwa hivyo lazima tuyakomeshe. Wangapi anasema tuyakomeshe hayo mabaya. Na pia wakipitisha report kutakuwa na APC. 
si Chepukati alienda akiendanga eh ametoka maenda na watu yake hakuna IBC na lazima hiyo IBC pia iwepo kwanza tupanue ile inaitwa panel panelists wa ambao watachagua makamishna watume yenyewe badala ya saba wawe watu tisa hiyo kazi ni muhimu zaidi kwa sababu sasa hivi hakuna uchaguzi unaweza kuendelea Kenya hii bila kuwa na tume mpya hii ni kazi muhimu zaidi kabla ya kuzungumza juu ya 2027 hiyo yameandikwa kwa sheria na waelewa mkizungumza juu yake lakini sheria huko ndani ndani iko pia na maangizo mengine kuna provision kwa mfano kama hao watu wakifanya dunia haiwezi kukalika mtangojea 2027 kuna kitu inaitwa impeachment hiyo ni sheria na sitaki kwa impeachment design what they can be impeached so guys don't you think about 2027 i say mambo ya 2027 hiyo ni lazima tuyakamilishe tuyatatue 2024 wangapi ananiunga mkono kwa hivyo ni kazi muhimu saida hii ya 2024. Baba anaenda kushikilia sisi huko na tunamwombea hatutaki honestly tunataka afaulu because lazima ye mwenyewe apply. Si unaona? Na kwa hivyo ndio tukasema jana na washukuru kina Moses Kuria na wengine wamezungumza hata wewe malala. Wamezungumza anasema wao watamuunga baba mkono kwa sababu they are looking at interest ya Kenya na sio interest ya Kenya kwanza ama ya azimio. Baba amekuwa mkubwa kushinda mambo haya. Tuampigieni makofi. Na kwa hivyo kazi iliyoko hapa ni kuhakikisheni nyinyi kwamba azimio la umoja one Kenya tuko imara. Siku ya pili baada ya baba kusema anataka kazi hii tulikutana na wenzangu na nitawataja majina yao ambao tulikubaliana lazima azimio la umoja tukae ngumu na kutetea haki za wananchi wa Kenya. Wa kwanza mother sister wetu mother Karua ako pamoja nasi. Tumpigie makofi. Ya pili Steven Kalonzo Musyoka ambaye anaongea na nyinyi anasema lazima tukakamate shikamane kabisa. Wa tatu kiongozi wa DAP Eugene Wamalo akasema lazima tushikane kiongozi wa Warus Party Wanjakoya akasema lazima tushikane pamoja nataka mwelewe Wanjakoya mimi mi mwenyewe nilienda kwa ofisi yake was actually surprised there's a very serious law practice anasimamia mambo ya international labor uh, immigration law he's an expert kwa hivyo mkiona msione kama Wanjakoya ni mtu hivi hivi eh hey, hey, ni sawa kabisa ako pamoja na sisi atingiziki Mheshimiwa Deputy Leader wa ODM ambaye ni chairman wa Azimio uh, Executive Board na aliyekuwa seneta wa Kakamega Mwe, alikuwa sorry alikuwa gavana wa Kakamega Mihula Miwili Weekly Ambetsa Oparanya hapa pamoja na sisi Nimewacha mtu yote hapo Sivuna zindi huyu tena huyu sifuna let me be honest with you i'll say this today mwisho mnikubali nisema juu ya sifuna leo kwanza kwanza mimi nilikuwa kwa bunge na anko wake ambaye Mungu ampumzishe vyema eh nilikuwa naye kwa bunge nimekuwa kwa bunge miaka mingi nilikuwa na anko ya sifuna lakini nimewatch huyu kijana ngoja nimuite hivyo kama ni mtu mjasiri tumetoka hapa kwa kanisa langu ni Baptist Church na kwaya pale naimba wimbo ule wa eh, eh, ile kijana eh Israel Mboji ah ni nasiri niko nasiri na Mungu inanifanya niwe jasiri kama kuna jasiri Kenya hii ni huyu kijana Senator wenu ana ujasiri aogopi he is a communicator kwa mambo ya uongozi ndugu zangu wa bunge and other leaders you also need to communicate as clearly as sifuna does uwezi uka akisema anakuita one time alituita majino magali alituita in a very nice way mpaka hata sasa nikikutana na weta anacheka anasema sifuna alitu fix there is a fleeces communicate yeah i am coming to that eh hey. 
Huyu kijana ni communicator and I thank God for him. Katika siku za usoni whatever it is huyu jamaa atataka Nairobi hii Kenya hii apatiwe because he's able. Na, na, na sijui aje niambia anataka nini whatever it is he want. I'll give you an example. Let me give you an example. Unajua inchi inchi inakuwa inataka sura nzuri inchi. Sikumbukeni mimi nilikuwa waziri wa mambo nje. Watu wamesahau nilikuwa minister of education, nilikuwa minister wa environment, nilikuwa minister wa utalii. Wanakumbuka when I was minister for foreign affairs. Wa Kenya anakumbuka the late Robert Oko, alafu wananifikiria wakati mwingine. If the time comes na mimi niwe katika mahali naweza kuchagua waziri wa mambo nje. That will be Edwin Sifuna. <laughs> Na sisemi ni nini? He is most qualified because I know kwanza ye anaelewa na sheria. Na sisemi atakuwa msianze tupigane hapa bure. But I can tell you he can make an excellent. Eh. Hey, hata ma DVD anaweza kujifunza kwake. Okay. Timu kwa hivyo timu iko mara. David kwa niaba ya ya jubilee ya uhuru Kenyatta ambaye pia ako pamoja nasi strongly tulikuwa na David Murathe na tulikuwa na Alfred Gitonga this last few days na pia tulikuwa na governor Peter Munya ambaye alitukaribisha Meru na hata akaniwaambie Meru <laughs> dharaka nivi embu huko ni nyumbani kwangu hata wa Meru alikuwa anaimba kanyere kaina wene wene <laughs> so huko ni strong na watu wako tayari everywhere. Watu wamechoka kama vile senator ambao amesema kondoo huyu huyu punda badala ya kusema amechoka amekufa. Ameanguka. <laughs> Jamii ni haja kufa tusikufe. Kuanguka tumeanguka. Kwa hivyo lazima tumuinue na kuinua ni kuhakikisha hao watu ambao wamenyekua mamlaka kwa njia ambayo tunaelewa Awata zidi kuangamiza uchumi wetu. Ijumaa Jumaine ijayo housing fund hii nimeona imeleta tena before the house and I can speak because I'm not a member of both houses. So I can comment on anything under the sun. I'm not uh, under, under obligation zema you took business out of the house kupeleka soko market ya Kenyatta. So I can discuss wananchi. I listen to the mover of this motion. You can see somebody struggling to say the truth. Ukweli ni kwamba even that whole thing should not have been brought back to the house before it is adequately dealt with before the courts of law. Walikuwa na na jukumu la kwenda kama wameshindwa kwa court of assistance wangeenda kwa court of appeal hata kwa Supreme Court. Lakini wanalazimisha. Yaani sijaona serikali ya kulazimisha bomoa bomoa lazimisha mutake msikake wanasema wao wako na vitu vya ile kisu alipatiwa sio ya kukata siku mawiki maajabu serikali inashtaki wananchi kwa Mungu ai hapana so while well, uh, that whole thing was before the court of appeal wangeenda kwa court of appeal so even for my learned brother and friend weta kukubali hiyo mata iletwe mbele ya nyumba la count assembly ya national assembly ni, ki, ni makosa therefore i listen to andai our leader in the national assembly alijaribu sana robert mbui walijaribu sana what you must do mimi naomba tu kitu kimoja if you must vote on that unfortunate thing vote against it that is our party position kama Hey, azimio la umoja one Kenya. Na ndio sifuna anazungumza Woodley hii wengine wanapeana mali tu. How 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 cheap can we be? First of all it is all the business of government to do business. Yaani serikali mambo yake ni kuongoza sio kufanya biashara. Kwa hivyo inajiingiza kwa biashara kwa kutoa ushuru mama mboga nimeona hawa ambao wanafanya saloon watakuja hapa wanahesabu nyinyi na sema saloon zenu hizi unalipa 1.5% ushuru 
Kwa kujengea nyumba. Eh? Wamekuja? Walikuja kwa hesabu nyinyi? Wangapi nasema wapotee kabisa kutaki mambo yao? So, ndio tunasema hii kwa mtafo we are saying on Thursday tunakutana kama tena viongozi wa Azimio One Kenya with our economic team na tutatoa bado msimamo. Kwa hivyo tunawahakikisheni hakuna pengo. What has happened kwa mambo ya ndugu yetu Raila Odinga is something we are very proud of. We shall campaign is beyond now partisan uh, partisan politics. Na kwa hivyo kwa sasa tukae hivi. Na mimi nataka nikamilishe basi. Nyama tumekula. Nyama tumekula. Ama wananipatia waipa kwanza. Waipa. Waipa. Sikuna na baba alienda everywhere waki strengthen ODM. Si ndio? ODM ikiwa na nguvu. Waipa ikiwa na nguvu. Jubilee ikiwa na nguvu. Kwa sababu si hatutaki mambo ya tuunganishe yote tumeze vyama. Hapana, we want freedom kwa vyama vyetu na viwe vya matanzo viwe na nguvu. Kwa hivyo sisi pia tunazidi kufungua kwa ofisi ya Wiper kila mahali wanaotaka tikiti ya Wiper kila mahali Kenya hii watafute tikiti wanaotaka tikiti ya ODM the same ili tuwe tayari kila wakati. Mungu abariki sana. Wiper. Wiper. Wangapa nasema housing tax ipotee na ipotee kabisa. Thank you. Asante sana mheshimiwa Kalonzo. Sasa watu wa City Market Eh, chairman chairman wenu anajua mahali Kalonzo ametununulia lunch si ndio kwa hivyo ataingia pale akisort kila mtu si ndio haya wangapi wanasema tunaweza kuondoka kwa amani sasa asanteni sana Mungu wabariki thank you so much Hello. Hello. Hello.